What's up everyone? Tonight I'm going to be making some chili. So um, let's get into this video. I don't have any tomato paste. I'm going to be using spaghetti sauce chili. Did you know that you could use spaghetti sauce in place of the tomato sauce? Um, I do have tomato paste too. I have, I'm going to show you guys everything I have. Let's go. Alright, so I love these white chili beans. They're by, made by bushes. They are so delicious. I don't know that I'm going to use three. We're going to plan on using two. Um, I have some diced tomatoes. I have some light red kidney beans. And I have some tomato sauce. Um, it's pasta sauce, actually. Spaghetti sauce. It's a cheap guy. It's like a dollar a can or something. Anyways, we are going to try and make us some good chili out of those ingredients. I'm going to grab the meat out of the, out of the refrigerator. I'm going to set you guys up. All right, everyone. I got some different kind of um, ground beef. This is grass-fed ground beef. We are gonna try it. Never tried it before. I'm sure it's just as good. You know, I think this just means that they feed the an the cows grass. So this is what we're putting in our chili. I don't see why it would taste any different. Alright guys. There it is. Gotta turn the burner on. Let's see. I can't see. I can't see if it's high or low. Okay. I'll have no glasses on. Oh shoot. Got my little faithful cutter. It's a chopper. They sell these at the Dollar Tree now, guys. At the Dollar Tree. This one I got from Walmart and I paid, I don't know, under 10 bucks for it. But they sell them at the Dollar Tree now for a dollar twenty-five. I think I heard that the Dollar Tree is going to be called the Dollar Tree Plus. And that they're going to have items up to five dollars and more. Kind of stupid, huh? Dollar Tree Plus. It's like five beyond, guys. Five beyond. Five below went to five beyond, so that they could raise the prices to more than five dollars. Guess they can't afford to have. Um, I don't know. It's just weird. They keep doing this with different things. All right. So I don't know how I got on the subject of that. It smells good. It smells just like ground beef. Grass-fed ground beef, or grass-fed, <laughs> grass yeah, grass-fed ground beef. And Guys, I'm the only one in the house that can use this electric can opener. Everybody else uses that little twisty one. Nobody knows how to use the electric one. But me, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why electric can opener has been around for a long time. They would rather twist. I would rather put it on here and it open. This one's got like a pop lid. We don't have to, to do that. Okay, guys, I'm not going to open the last can of um, the white chili beans. Not until I know for sure if I need it. And I'm not going to open the pasta, the tomato paste, until I know for sure I'm going to need it.
haven't had chili in a long time, guys. In a really long time. Usually we only have it when it's cold outside. But it's really hot outside. We're going to have it now. Okay. Just have to let the ground beef cook. All right, everyone, I'm ready to put the stuff in with it. I'm gonna pour the tomato sauce in, the spaghetti sauce in first. Then I'm gonna pour the diced tomatoes. I got you guys down too low. Now you guys can't see. The diced tomatoes. The white chili beans, sauce and all. Not gonna strain them. And then the red beans. The red beans I'm gonna strain some. So I strained the red beads, guys, just most of the way. And they're kidney beans. Now I'm gonna get some, some seasonings. I need to get some glasses so I can freaking see. Alright, so a little bit of smoked paprika. Um, some garlic powder. Hopefully I got chili powder. Yes, I got a whole jar. Some chili powder. Oh, the chili powder's never been opened. You'll have to put as much seasons that you guys want. Um, so I don't measure the seasons, I just put them in there. Probably we'll put some more chili powder in there. I want it to have a little bit of a tang, but not too much. I'll have to taste it. Have. Definitely want some salt and pepper. Himalayan salt. And then black peppercorn pepper. That pepper is strong.
have a little bit of red bell pepper flakes. Then we're just going to let it simmer for a while. Probably about 15 minutes. It should be good. Alright guys, so we were just letting it simmer just a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to put... Well, I'm going to taste it a little bit, and then I'll see whether I'm going to put some more chili powder in. Let's, let's just get a taste of the flavor. Mmm. It's good. Oh, I don't know if I need more chili powder or not. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more. I don't think I probably need no more. I don't like spicy, but everybody else likes spicy. I think I missed onion powder. Let me see. Garlic. Here's some onion powder. I could have put an onion in my chili too. I didn't even think of that. Just basic chili. Nothing special. Just bringing you guys along with me. Um, I like the white chili beans better than anything. Don't ask me why. They probably have almost the same flavor. I'm going to do a taste test and see if they have the same flavor. Um, but I really like the white ones. Like I could eat, the, eat, eat a can of white, white chili beans. And I know they're high in potassium too. For anybody that's low, has low potassium. I don't even feel like I need to put the chili, or the tomato paste in. I feel like it's good. We'll have Tyler test it. We'll have Tyler test it when he comes back through. Looks delicious, guys. Looks really good. Tyler! It's that simple. Chili's easy to make. I almost did it in the Instapot and I thought, no, 
I'll dirty more utensils in the Instapot than just throwing it on the stove and cooking it. Alright, Tyler's going to taste test. I don't know how it's going to... Just don't go to the side of the pan. Alright guys, you guys missed Tyler's taste test. He's like, yay, because he didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> um, he says it's perfect, it's done, it's ready. So, um, that's how I make my chili. Sometimes I make it different, you know. I just wing it. Every time I make chili, I wing it. Most of the time I use tomato sauce. And not spaghetti sauce, but hey, it tastes pretty dang good. So I will see you at the dinner table. Alright everyone, I got my bowl of chili. I actually put cheese in it. Here comes Tyler. <laughs> I told I told him you miss I told them they missed your taste test because the battery died. It was delicious. Do you want to taste test now? On the camera with me? No? Yeah? Maybe? No? Okay. So, we're going to do my taste test. I wanted to try and taste the difference between the flavors of the beans. But now I can't. Mine's all mixed up, so it's probably going to all taste the same. But I kind of wanted to taste a red kidney bean. I think they're going to all taste the same. Oh yeah, I want some crackers. Okay, a red kidney bean, and let's see a white kidney bean. I know there's going to be no difference, but maybe. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I like the white ones better, but I didn't taste much difference between the two. I guess I should have put them out separately. They have the same texture. They have the same... Um, Feeling on the inside that I felt like that tastes like the white ones were a little sweeter. So maybe I'm right, wrong. Maybe it's just in my head. Maybe I'm, you know, I seen the white ones one day and thought, I just like the white ones better. I don't know. Could be in my head. Mmm. There's some cheese up there. I mean, it needs cheese. It's good. It is really good. We haven't had chili in so long. I hope it doesn't affect us because we have a big day tomorrow. We have somewhere we have to be tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be in trouble if it does. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's delicious. And with crackers, guys, I might have told you this before, but I never used I never used to use a spoon to eat my chili. I would use the crackers to eat my chili. I'm going to show you how. I probably told you already. I'm repeating myself. <laughs> oh well. Those of you that want to listen can listen. Those of you that don't, don't have to. I used to take my cracker 
and I just used to, that used to be my spoon. I would dip it, I would dip it in the chili, and then I would eat it. Mmm, so good. And then I would turn it sideways and dip it again. <laughs> People thought I was, well, when I was littler, they thought, not littler, but younger. People thought, well, why, where's your spoon? I don't need a spoon. Right here's my spoon. <laughs> With all this cheese in this chili, you know what would be good is some of them, one of them, them, Things that we dip with cheese and salsa, Dorito, you know, the scoopables. The scoops, yeah. That the scoopables really would be really good with this. And you wouldn't have to use a spoon. Mmm. <laughs> I used to actually line my bowl. I used to take them, I don't know if you're seeing the bowl. And I'd line them all the way around the bowl. <laughs> and then I would grab one at a time and usually by the time I got to a you know one or two of them away they would be all soggy this is really good chili you guys need to try it I hope you wrote down everything as we went it's just basic I mean you know, put up whatever seasons in it that you want. But, um, add the cheese. I added yellow American cheese. It is so delicious. Mmm. Tyler done took his bowl and he's gone. This would definitely be a good luck, a good bean dip. Since I thickened it out with the cheese. Mmm. You could make a little dip out of it. It's delicious. Totally delicious. This is my favorite part of the cooking videos. <laughs> Sitting here eating and talking to you guys. You guys are my company. Alright guys, last bite. Mmm. That's not really the last bite. There's still more left. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As much as I'm enjoying eating this food. It is so good. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace guys.